seven common face shapes and which one do you have? Hi, my name is Chi. I have been doing a series of videos on how to choose the right hairstyle for your face shape. But then I'm getting the questions, Chi, I don't know my face shape. So today, let's get back to the basics. How to determine your face shape. Step number one, pull your hair back entirely. If you have hairbands, make sure you cover your hairbands. Now, look for these four lines, three horizontal lines and one vertical line. Your face shape is determined by them. The first line is the width of your forehead. The second line is the width of your cheekbones. The third is the width of your jaw lines. And the fourth, the vertical one, is the length of your face from the very top to the very bottom of your chain. The wrong face shape. This is my face shape. First, let's look at the lines on your face. The vertical line, which measures the length of your face, is quite similar to the horizontal lines, especially the cheekbone, which is the widest part for your face. In my case, I actually did measurements with the tape. Yeah, you can use that if you want to be very accurate about your measurements. My length is 8 inches and my width, the widest part of my face, is 7 inches. So it's very close to 1 to 1 ratio and that is a major sign. You either have a round or a square face shape if you have a close to 1 to 1 ratio for your length and width. Another major sign, you have the round face shape. Your face don't have a lot of angular features. You wouldn't have a chiseled jaw bones like the square face shape. And also the round face shape tend to have a shorter chain so the distance between your jaws to your bottom of your chain is shorter than average this is a major difference between a round face shape and a hard face shape which typically has a longer and pointed chain people with round face shape tend to look younger than their age one of the main reason is because round face shape is flashier compared with the other face shapes what I noticed for me every time if I gain weight it's always gonna show up on my face my face gets flashier and my face look even rounder so if that is you you possibly have a wrong face shape if you're petite make sure you check out my clothing line at petitedressing.com for women under 5'4 ever since That's I discovered petitedressing.com my style went from this to this now I'm in the game I was on the bench on the bench spinning on the back like here I go again Square face shape. Square is very similar to the round face shape in terms of the ratio for the length and width of your face. So if you look at the vertical line, this is not too much longer compared with the horizontal lines. For the square face shape, the three horizontal lines, the width of your forehead, your cheekbones, and your jaw lines are very similar as well. And that is typically what defines a square face shape because all parts all lines of your face are similar length. The major feature for the square face shape is your strong chiseled jaw lines. And famous example, Kira Knightley, Olivia Wilde, and Jennifer Aniston. Sometimes it might be confusing whether you have the round face shape or the square face shape. Take myself for an example. When I was younger in my 20s or early 30s, I feel like my face was a square face shape because I was skinnier, so my face was bonier. And then when I looked at my jaw lines, it was pretty obvious I did have more angled jaw lines and my cheekbones were more prominent. However, over the years, as my face gets fleshier, that is less noticeable and my face tends to look rounder. If you cannot tell whether you should call yourself square face or round face, it really is not a big deal because the hairstyles that gonna work for the round face shape, most of them also works for the square face shape and vice versa. What looks good on the square face shape typically also looks good on the round face shape. For these two face shapes, it's the same way to style. You gotta maintain the length of your face because both of these two face shapes tend to look wider. And that's why it's important to keep the length of your face and do not do anything to make your face look wider. The diamond face shape. This is very similar to the oval face shape in terms of the ratio for the length and weight. However, diamond is more angular version of the oval face shape. If you look at the horizontal lines, the widest part is gonna be your cheekbone width. So the second line, 
the width of your cheekbones is wider compared with the first line, the width of your forehead, and the width of your jawlines. Typically, a diamond face shape also has strong, prominent cheekbones and a pointy, angular shaped jawlines. The oval face shape. How do you know if you have the oval face shape? If your face has more length than the width. So if you see the vertical line, is significantly longer compared with any of the horizontal lines, chances are you may have the oval face shape. The widest part of your face is probably the cheekbones, but sometimes they can be very close to the width of your forehead. But the width of your jaws are gonna be shorter compared with your cheekbone width. A typical oval face shape don't have a lot of angular lines, so you would not have strong chisel jaw lines like the square face shape or a pointy, sharp chain like the hard face shape. Here's something very interesting about the oval. Everybody else is saying that you have the most perfect face shape and therefore any hairstyle is gonna look good on you. I do agree in terms of the perfect ratio of length and width. Yes, it's very ideal, pleasant to the eye. However, oval face shape can easily change and turn into something else if you don't choose the right hairstyle. For instance, if you're wearing your hair straight and part right in the middle, very easy to emphasize the length of your face and that's gonna turn your face into the Avalon face shape, which is what I'm gonna talk about the next. Or if you wear your hair bands straight across in a very thick hair bands, that's gonna cut off the length of your face and emphasize the weight of your face shape and turn it into a rounded or a square looking face. Avalon face shape. This is very similar to the oval face shape and a lot of sources don't distinguish the two. But the difference is Avalon face shape is longer version of the oval face shape. The oval face shape still has some roundness or squareness to the face shape, but if you have the oblong face shape, it's more narrow compared with the oval face shape. Oblong face shape are all long, but they can be long at different places. There's two main types within the oblong face shape. The first is long forehead. A very typical example is Rihanna. If this is you, then any type of hairbands are gonna be extremely flattering for you. By the way, I just did a video on how to choose the hairbands according to your face shape. If you haven't watched that yet, make sure you do check it out. The other type of oblong face shape is long below your forehead. So what that means is most likely you're gonna have a longer chain. A very typical example is Sarah Jessica Parker. So if that is you, the best haircut for you, not necessarily the hairband. They probably won't do much for you because your forehead is not really the part that's elongating your face. And for you, the most important part is to expand your face, especially here at the jaw lines. And that's why any type of waves or curled hair can be very flattering for your face shape. The hard face shape. The hard face shape is known for having wider forehead. So if you look at the three horizontal lines, the widest part is gonna be the first line. Your width, the width of your forehead. It's gonna be wider than your cheekbones and definitely wider than your jaw lines. A typical hard face shape also have a pointy chin. A famous example is Reese Witherspoon. Another major giveaway for the hard face shape is the hairlines. If you have a pointy hairlines here, chances are you may have a hard face shape. In terms of the ratio for the length and width of your face, the hard face shape doesn't come across as too long or too wide. Because the hard face shape has a prominent forehead, if you don't wear any hairbands, they might become the focal point of your entire face. If you want to balance that out, any kind of hairbands are gonna be very flattering for your face shape. The pear face shape. This is one of the face shapes that's not very commonly mentioned in most of the other sources, but this is a very unique face shape. I don't think it should be combined with any of the other face shapes. So now let's look at if you have the pear face shape. When you look at the horizontal lines on your face, if the widest horizontal line is the bottom, which is the width of your jaw lines, 
that typically is a big sign that you have the pear face shape. Overall, the pear face shape has more length than width, but the width of your jaw lines really stand out. And that is why it got the name of the pear, because it's wider at the bottom and more narrow on the top. So your forehead is the narrowest part on your face. In general, the pear face shape look quite flashy. One of the main reasons you want to know your face shape is because you want to know what kind of hairstyle is suitable for your particular face shape. For example, right now, wavy hair is very on trend. Everybody is trying to do it at home or in the salon to get those nice, beautiful waves. But did you know that not all the face shape is suitable to have curly or wavy hair? I didn't know that. Well, I always knew that I looked better in straight hair, but I didn't know that has something to do with my face shape. So watch this video. Is your face shape more suitable for straight hair or wavy curly hair?